Hey everybody, BrickLiver18 here today with a four-part video of how I sort and store my Lego. This four-part video series is going to be broken down into different areas of my Lego room where I store my Lego pieces. In video one, we're going to take a look at how I store my most uncommonly used Lego pieces as well as my slopes. In video two, we're going to take a look at this colorful storage container where I store most of my mainly used Lego pieces as well as how I store my circle pieces and my tiles. In video three, we're going to take a look how I store things like plates, my vehicle parts, as well as my minifigure parts. And finally, in video four, we're going to take a look how I store my Lego bricks, just the regular bricks, as well as my instruction manuals. Hey BrickLiver18 here today with part number 4 of how I sort and store my Lego pieces. Today we're going to show you how I sort and store my Lego bricks as well as my Lego instruction manuals. So here in these containers I just store all my Lego bricks by color and just regular bricks. So here at the top drawer I have all my white bricks and you'll notice throughout this video that a lot of my bricks are in use. Here I have my drawer of black bricks my drawer of red bricks, my drawer of gray bricks, my drawer of blue bricks, here I have my drawer of green bricks, my drawer of yellow bricks, here I have a mixed drawer with half orange and half tan, this drawer here I have another half drawer with half pink and half brown, and finally this last drawer here is all modified bricks, so anything you know arch bricks or big bricks or thick bricks or anything that's curved bricks anything that's still a brick and doesn't have any extra studs or anything on it goes in here so I kind of lied it's not just my instruction manuals as you can see the top bin here as well as this top drawer are all things that I actually need to make a video on here's just a sneak peek of everything the next drawer here is all creator instruction manuals as you can see, it's quite a heavy drawer, and this is, I think, this is the Apple Treehouse, so that's quite an old set. So I try and put them face down up here, just because it is so full, I don't want to rip any of the fronts. This next drawer here is all other instruction manuals. So as you can see, I have Lego Movie, I have Friends, I have Chima, I have Scooby-Doo. Anything basically that's not in the city or the creator drawer goes in here, and that's why it's quite full. Mainly, I buy city and creator sets, so that's why there's more of those in case you didn't know. So over here in the bottom drawer is the Lego City instruction manuals. There's well over a hundred instruction manuals in here and you might not even look that but there's just so many smaller ones. This is definitely the heaviest drawer and probably weighs close to 20 pounds. It's very very heavy. Love this drawer because it's got all my favorite sets in it. Pretty much. Thanks everybody so much for watching part number four of how I sort and store my Lego pieces. If you enjoyed part number four don't forget to check out all the previous parts that I've already uploaded. Thanks everybody so much for watching, I really hope you enjoy it and fortunately this is the last video like this as I've covered you and showed you how I sort and store my entire Lego collection. Thanks everybody so much for watching, I really hope you enjoy. Don't forget to check out the previous parts of this video.